Um, I'm Mrs. Leon, and I teach ELA and Spanish and, at Holland Woods. Some of my favorite um, technology tools that I use. Um, I use Google Classroom every day. I've gone as paperless as possible. And then one of the tools that I use along with Google Classroom is GoFormative. Um, GoFormative is an amazing tool that kids can use with um, the Chromebooks and especially with the touch screen feature um, for my class. There's many things that you can do with GoFormative, um, but the, what's cool about it is you can see what the class is doing on your screen as the teacher as they're completing the assignment. So I can watch them and, and intervene with um, and give them feedback as, as they go rather than have them turn their paper in and realize, oh, this kid did it all incorrectly. So the assignment that I gave them was a drawing assignment. So you can do drawing things on here. My assignment was um, the students had to draw the vocabulary for Spanish. So as you can see, this first one was drawing um, you know, a pen in Spanish. And then here's another one. You can watch them live as they're drawing. So as they were doing this assignment, I was giving them feedback. You know, that's a great, you know, I can totally see that that's a, you know, a notebook or whatever. And the couple kids that weren't doing the assignment, I quietly walked up to them and told them that they needed to get started or, you know, do you understand what to do? And then the, the other thing that's great about it is you can see the ones that have the green on there have already been graded. And it's super easy to grade, so I just click on it and gave them a point. And you, you set up the pointing system, you know, when you set up the assignment. Okay, so I can go to the next one, half a point. And then, or you can click through this way and really quickly grade them. So I just gave that one zero, and you can see um, the scoring with colors. And then when you look at your totals, you can look at it this way. When you're done with the assignment, it'll give you feedback in terms of like, which one did they miss the most? Like, which one do I need to go over again? Which is another reason that I like. I like go formative for the, the data that it gives me. get rid of and you're using now that all the students are going to be having uh, Chromebooks you can go ahead and upload any PDF into formative and then all you have to do is take your mouse and click 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 and you can add questions just like that it's super super quick this is way faster for me than making any copies and then as you click you select what do I want? Do I want it to be a short answer or an essay or multiple choice or anything like that? So that part of it is super easy and super functional. Plus it will correct for you. It'll grade for you. You can attach standards to, um, to look at data that way. If you want to add a question, these are all the things that you can do on here also. You can add text, you can add video, I did the whiteboard so the students could draw, you can add images, you can embed things. There's a few pay features, um, multiple choice, true, false, short answer. I've done my um, ABC right on here. And as kids are 
writing their essays, it's amazing for essays, you can give them feedback. Hey, go back in and you need to improve your introduction. So you don't have to wait for kids to hand in those papers to tell them what they need to improve on. Formative uh, has done a number of things for me this year. Uh, first of all, GoFormative has allowed me to go almost paperless this year. So it has allowed me to upload documents to, um, to it and then kids can answer questions right from it. Uh, there's a lot of things here in GoFormative that you can do that takes it beyond paper. We can actually go in, the kids can draw on their Chromebooks, they can do math equations right there for any math teacher. You can upload a PDF right to it and then create questions right off of it. Seven, I'm looking for an actual place name. Okay. You can also add notes to a student. Let's say the student has got the question wrong. I added this note and I said, What about the Nile River? And it helped the student answer the question. This screen allows me to see easily if the students are getting the answer or not getting the answer right and then I can talk to the students, but it's easy to just see the student's name, which will pop over, up over here, and their grade, and you can transfer it easily to Skyward. 